If you've forgotten the fiber content of some long ago purchased fabric, or you're considering some mystery yardage at a tag sale, give the material a trial by fire. The burn test is a simple method to make an educated guess about a fabric's fiber content. How a fabric burns, its scent, and the ash left behind are important clues. Here's what you need to do a burn test. A disposable lighter or a small candle. Matches aren't the best choice. They burn too quickly and sulfur from the tip can give a false scent reading. An aluminum pie tin, a safe place for the candle or to drop the burn test swatch after burning. Tweezers to hold the swatch while burning and to test the texture of the ash or residue. Let's try two burn tests with common fiber types, silk and then polyester. Cut a small swatch about one inch square. Too large a swatch can be hazardous to burn. Pick it up with the tweezers. Pass the swatch horizontally across the flame, watching the fiber both as it approaches the heat and as it ignites. The silk smolders and curls away from the flame. In the flame, it burns slowly and sputters. Remove the swatch from the flame before it's consumed and note how it reacts. When I remove it from the flame, it burns with difficulty and stops flaming. Now put your nose to work. The odor of a burning fiber can be an excellent clue to its content. For silk, the smell is like burning hair. Finally, feel the cooled ash with the tweezers to test the residue's texture. The silk ash is shiny and black. See how easy it is to crush? Now let's test polyester. Natural fibers like silk leave a soft or crushable residue, but almost all synthetic fibers melt, most turning into a hard bead, as you'll see. Polyester fuses and shrinks away from the flame. In the flame, it melts and burns slowly. When I remove it from the flame, the flame dies out. The burned polyester has a chemical smell. The ash is hard and black. It's like a bead, and I can't crush it. Go to threadsmagazine.com to find a chart with burn test results for 10 fiber types. Try the technique on familiar fabrics first. The results will help you compare and match the chart descriptions to common fiber types.